In this video, we're going to be testing the new Heritage Hill The Patriot Shaving Cream and we're going to be using the 28 cent razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I am your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and today we're going to be using, as I mentioned before, Heritage Hill, the Patriot Cream. This is a beta test. This is not necessarily the production version, but the good folks at Heritage Hill said, hey, we want you to try our cream. It's latherless, or you can lather it if you want. I did lather it. I'll show you that uh, in a minute. And man, it smells great. I love the scent of the Patriot, which they already had in the soap. It's lime, bergamot, and patchouli. Uh, and I got to say, the scent strength on this is quite good. It's medium high. Really, really nice. I love, love, love the scent. There's a look at the cream. And the consistency is about what you would get with Tobbs or something like that. So it is a cream. It's going to be softer. That's always the case with creams. And I believe they told me this one you can lather or uh, you can use it latherless. I've already lathered it. I didn't have any problem at all. I did use more product because it's soft, but I got a good lather uh, out of it. Let's show you a shot of that right there. And again, this is a test. They haven't come to market with this. They're just considering it. And today we're going to give it a go and see how it goes. The razor for today was sent to us by our good friend Kim Gray, and this was 28 cents. Yes, 28 cents uh, from Ali uh, Express shipped, folks. So <laughs> 28 cents shipped, and you can see there's a fair amount of blade exposure there, and you know you got the the tabs uh, on the sides there. I don't care whatsoever about that. I enjoyed using this razor the first time. It has a pole silver blade in it, one that I just put in it. Uh, it's light. But it got the job done the first time, so I figured let's use the 28 cent razor. Let's use 28 cent and see how it goes th today. Um, it's amazing, you know, th that you can shave with a razor this inexpensive. After all, the razor, you know, it's just kind of a stick that holds the blade. So we hope to get a good shave with it today. We shall see. I hope you're doing well. And we're going to start by misting the face today, and then we'll get right into it with the Patriot, which is a new cream. And again, I didn't have any problems lathering it it wasn't finicky i love this scent man this is really nice all right there's a look at it and let's see how we do good creaminess in there so i don't anticipate any problems with it it's certainly not going to dissipate and if you hear my stomach growling i apologize early in the morning here and man that's nice look at that there's some creamy goodness in there we always like that and i like heritage hill products and they are good Guys, uh, John from Heritage Hill, you know, checked in with me last week, just asking how, how my mother was, if he could do anything. He has uh, relatives in the Charlotte area, and he's like, hey, if you need somebody to help out or, you know, bring over a meal or run someone to an appointment, you know, I will reach out to my folks. And it's just really wonderful, um, that sort of, you know, just, just level of kindness. I really appreciate that, John. And I like the wearers at Heritage Hill. They've sort of... a uh, redone all their labels. So if you haven't seen them, they've got more pop and color to them now. And as you can see, there's some good sheen on that lather. So very nice. I like that. All right. I really like the scent on this. And by the way, the other day, um, I did an unboxing with uh, this particular scent and uh, I put the splash on. And right after that, I went to get something to eat through a drive-through. And the lady at the drive-through said, Whatever you're wearing, that smells good. <laughs> she liked the Patriot also. All right, let's get going with 28 cent. That's what we're going to call this. And thank you, Kim, for sending this. And I hope you're well, Kim. Very nice. You do get some uh, decent uh, blade feel, I think, on this razor. Maybe mild, or maybe uh, around medium. I don't know. Let's continue, continue on and see how it feels as we go. But the first few strokes there, I'm, you're definitely feeling a little blade. This is not the mildest razor that I've ever used. And it probably shouldn't be given how much uh, blade exposure. You can see there, you know, there's quite a bit of uh, blade visible there. So 
Shaved well the first time and I expect it to shave well again, honestly. No problem at all with that. I like using stuff like this. You know, I like using my carbon and my Blackland razors and my above the ties and all this, but I also like using this budget gear as well. And I come back to it from time to time just to use it and enjoy it. It really makes it enjoyable. And so far, we are not having any problems with the cream. Plenty slick enough, it lathered well. So, thumbs up so far. And like I said before, I'm definitely feeling a little blade here. So, I don't know, I would call this razor at least medium efficient, maybe medium high. It's not the most uh, aggressive or efficient razor I've ever had, but it's also not the most mild. But it's getting the job done. And again, 28 cents shipped. She even sent the invoice and I showed it in my last video where I used this. Um, <laughs> showed the invoice, it was 28 cents shipped. That's nuts. And there are some that are even less expensive. So uh, I don't know how it's possible to make money uh, when something is this inexpensive, but who knows? <laughs> but it works, I can tell you that. So that was an excellent first pass. From the perspective of the cream, no problems whatsoever. Everything worked really well in that first pass. So let's get involved here with pass number two. And uh, man, this scent is really filling the restroom here. I love this scent. It's really good. And I like the Heritage Hill soaps too. They're well-priced, which I like. And I like almost all the scents, if not all the scents. And they're uh, good dudes. At Heritage Hill as well. And I talked to John there at Heritage Hill, you know, quite a few times over the last year or so on the phone. Um, really nice folks. All right, man, oh man. Oh, I forgot to mention today's brush is the West Coast Shaving uh, Honeycomb. Sorry, I often forget to mention the brush and I apologize for that. But again, I link everything that I use that's available that I can find below. I won't link the 28 cent razor because I, I couldn't find the, the same exact listing, but there's a lot of inexpensive razors on AliExpress. So you can check there and see uh, there's a number of them. But I tell you what, no problems here with the cream. I will link Heritage Hill's website. Like, like I said before, this cream is not production yet. They're still testing and trying to get a feel. Look at that. <laughs> That's creamy goodness right there. All right. It's what our buddy uh, G.I. James, I haven't talked to James for a long time. He always said, creamy goodness. And James, you are right if you're watching. I need to reach out to James. I haven't talked to him for a long time. And he's an excellent, excellent dude. All right. There we go. We're ready to go. We can, we can lather all day because that's a lot of fun. But for your sake, we won't. <laughs> Let's cut this back right here and get back to business with 28 cent here, you know, 50 cent, 28 cent. <laughs> uh, let's just kind of do two and a half passes today just to keep keep these videos uh, short and efficient so we're not uh, having you listen to me babble all day. You listen to it enough, so I try to respect your time. <laughs> but as you can see, there are no problems thus far with uh, the razor nor the, the cream, it's working well, blade cutting well. I think this is probably the last use on this particular blade. I think I might've had two shaves on it, so. For me on uh, double-edged razor blades, I go uh, three shaves and out. And if the blade is bad, I'll switch it right away. As you saw the other day with the um, Rockwell blade, that blade did not feel good at all. Like a few strokes into that, I was like, hey, I got to, I got to, you know, I got to make something happen here. Right, let's just relather and hit that side across real quick. Throw that lather on there and we can just cover that. Go across the cheeks real quick. No need to do another full lather and, you know, extend things when I can do it very quickly. There we go. That's nice. I'm definitely liking the, the way the cream lathered. So no problems whatsoever. I could probably use a little more hydration in the lather to up the slickness just a bit, but that's on me, it's not on the cream. I think it could use just a little bit more hydration, which will bring 
some additional slickness, but overall, no problems, it's working well. Very nice so far. And I hope you folks are having an excellent day. I hope you're off to a good start today. We try to shave first thing in the morning every day and start off our day right and enjoy the sort of aromatherapy here, which works really, really, really well. Um, these scented products, when you get to experience something new, you know, each day, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's a, I think a brilliant way to start your day. And I enjoy it a lot. And I hope you do too. Scents are a big part of um, this becoming uh, a hobby for some. And actually, I was talking to Jason from the Razor Company the other day. And uh, he actually said, you know, it's more of a lifestyle, actually. And I think he's right about that. We call it a hobby. It is a hobby. But it's also a lifestyle. It's just, you know, we start to do things this way as part of uh, sort of a change in lifestyle. So let's re-wet that and light it that, And then we'll go across and... We will be doing well. Man, what a scent. I love this scent. I like I like it. I, for some reason, it seems stronger in this cream than it did in the um, in the soap, in the hard soap, or not hard soap, but regular, just regular soap, you know, shaving soap. Um, so I really like it. And we'll use the splash after uh, the shave here in the post. And that is brand new also, because Heritage Hill had not had splashes. And so we'll show you that in just a moment. That's also in beta, so it's not the production version just yet. All right, I think we are ready to rinse off and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to remove the cream. And then we applied our PAA Elm. There was no stinging there, so that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent uh, shave today. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with the Heritage Hill Patriot Shaving Cream. And again, this is the beta version, not the production version, but I love the scent. The cream worked fine. I think I could have used some additional hydration in there to make it a little slicker, but overall, thumbs up. I enjoyed it. It worked really, really well. And our friend here, 28 Cent, it did its job in stellar fashion as well, or allowed me to do my job. So no problems whatsoever with the 28 Cent Razor. Thank you, Kim, for sending this. I will definitely be using this for time from time to time just because I enjoy it. We used the West Coast Shaving uh, Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. And... We're gonna use the Patriot uh, Test Splash, which we have right here. And if you saw the unboxing, you know that I pointed out this restrict restrictor. This is not the production restrictor. This will not be on the aftershaves when they sell them. Cause I told John the other day, I was like, that thing is terrible. Don't use that. And he was like, oh no, we're not planning to. So let's see if I can get some of this out without getting way more than I want to. Uh, there's, <laughs> I still got more than I wanted to, but oh yeah, very nice. Oh, that smells good. And I believe there's alcohol in this too, for those of you who love alcohol-based splashes. And that smells great. And man, I enjoyed this shave. And I hope today you enjoy your shaves as well. Love the splash there, by the way. That scent is just booming. Awesome. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.